Bill Shields. Bill Shields was a cherished member of the WBZ team and an irreplaceable friend. In 41 years of reporting, he covered a lot of ground. In Linfield, in Framingham, Peabody, Foxborough, in Tewksbury, from BU, from downtown Boston, in Woods Hole, in Hingham, in New Bedford, in the North End, in Revere, in Situate, in Duxbury, reporting from Chatham, at Fenway Park, at Copley Square, in Middleborough, in Marshfield, on Bill Shields. He took us to the mountaintops. Mid-February, the highest peak in the Northeast, the air temperature is only 20 degrees, very light winds. For the people who spend a lot of time up here, this is like a day at the beach. He wasn't looking for peace and quiet. He was trying to turn a boyhood dream into reality. Barry Clifford was after pirate's treasure. And to the bottom of the sea. Bill moved through life with a youthful exuberance. Stop it, Bill. What? Go ahead. I hear you. He helped Boston usher in the new. And for the most part, the Alewife station is getting high marks from the riders so far. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. It's nice to look at. Looks like something at Disney World. And say goodbye to the old. Sure, we all love the old place, but maybe it is time for a new romance. I've been ready for a new arena for years. A classic Bill Shields story had people you remember. Fist bumping. Good one. Now that's key because to raise money for leukemia research, for what cured him, hashtag bump out cancer. Do it. Boom. People you cry with. Rick Young made it home, and our camera captured the heart wrenching reunion. Hi, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? And laugh with. Mita and Warren Lincoln wrote it when they were newly married. I'm trying to get her to go on the roller coaster, and I made it once. <laughs> you got her to go one time? Yeah, that's all. Often, it was Bill himself making us laugh. So, you think of pan the camera this way, William? You're going to see the force. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to see the force of the wind in the marsh. When the weather was at its worst, Bill was always the best. Pounded by wind, rain, snow for hours, wearing storm gear, and often wearing a smile. The native Texan became a hardy New Englander whose humor was as powerful as a hurricane. Another beautiful day here in Marshfield. This is sideways rain. I love it. It hits your face. It's like a thousand needles going in. Mother Nature couldn't knock him down. Bill fought cancer twice, with a lot of friends and fans supporting him. And no one was more loyal and loving than his wife, Catherine. Turns out, uh, I also helped kick my coverage uh, with my wife, Catherine. He told us about his latest battle at the upstage lung cancer benefit in November. Bill was the honoree, his self-deprecating humor as sharp as ever. I have a different kind of lung cancer now. I got it two times. Mentally, it's a, it's a longer haul, uh, but we're getting through it. We're still laughing. To know him is to know his stories off camera were just as great. <laughs> Bill, Billy, Shieldsy, whatever you called him, it was always easy to call him a friend. He was a trusted reporter, a valued member of the community, and part of our family. To say Bill will be missed is like saying Bill was a great reporter. It's an understatement. Bill loved Boston, and Boston loved Bill. Rest in peace, Bill Shields, a true WBZ legend.